There be some sports that are painful, and their labor delight in them sets off. Some kinds of baseness are nobly undergone. Uh, this, my mean task, would be as heavy to me as odious. Oh, but the mistress which I serve quickens what's dead and makes my labors pleasures. Oh, she is ten times more gentle than her mother's crab, and she is composed of harshness. I must remove some thousands of these logs and pile them. Alas, now, pray you, work not so hard. I would the lightning had burnt up those logs you were enjoined to pile. Pray, set it down and rest you. My mother is hard at study. Pray now, rest yourself. She's safe for those three hours. Oh, most noble mistress, the sun will surely set before I shall discharge what I must strive to do. If you'll sit down, I'll bear your logs the while. Pray, give me that. I'll carry it to the pile. No, precious creature. I'd rather crack my sinews, break my back, than you should such dishonor undergo while I sit lazy by. It would become me as well as it does you. And I should do with much more ease, for my goodwill is to it, and yours it is against. You look wearily. No, no, mistress. Oh, tis fresh morning with me when you're by at night. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my mother, I have broken your head to say so! Admired, Miranda! Indeed, the top of admiration. Full many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a times the harmony of their tongues hath into bondage brought my too diligent ear. For several virtues have I liked several women, but you, oh, you are created of every creature's best. <clears throat> I have never seen more that I may call men than you, good friend. And the many creatures who are abroad, I am skillless of. But I would not wish any companion in the world but you. Nor can imagination form a shape besides yourself to like of. I am in my condition a prince, Miranda. I do think a king. Hear my soul speak. From the instant that I saw you, and for your sake, I am, I am this patient log man. <laughs> log man. <laughs> Do you love me? Oh, heaven. <laughs> or, uh, Bear witness to this sound. I, beyond all limits of what else in the world, do love, prize, honor you. He loves me. <laughs> he loves me. He loves me. <laughs> <laughs> I am a fool to weep at what I am glad of. What for weeping? I am your wife, if you'll marry me. If not, I'll die your maid. My mistress, dearest, and I, thus humble lover. My husband, then? I, with a heart as willing as bondage or freedom. Here's my hand. And mine, my heart in it. Oh, a thousand, thousand! So glad of this as they I cannot be, who are surprised with all. I'll to my book, for yet ere supper time, I must perform much business appertaining. Bottom! <laughs> 
and he shall not suffer indignity. Oh, I thank my noble lord. <laughs> Wilt thou be pleased to hearken once again to the suit I made to thee? <laughs> Mary, I will kneel and repeat it. I shall stand. <laughs> and so shall Trinculo. <clears throat> As I told thee, I, I, I am subject to a tyrant, a sorceress, that by her cunning had cheated me of this island. Thou liest. Thou liest. Thou jesting monkey, thou. I would my valiant master would destroy thee. I do not lie. <laughs> Trinculo, trouble him any further in his tale. And by this hand, I will supplant some of your teeth. But I said nothing! Munden! And no more. Proceed. I say, by sorcery she get got this isle. From me she got it. If thy greatness will revenge it on her, for I know thou darest, but, but this thing darest not. That's most certain. That thou shalt be lord of it, and I'll serve thee. How shall this be compassed? Canst thou bring me to the party? Yea, yea, my lord. I yield her thee asleep, where thou mayest knock a nail into her head. Thou liest. Thou canst not. What by ninny's this, thou scurvy patch? I do beseech thy greatness. Oh, 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 give him blows and, and, and take his bottle from him. Oh, when, when that's gone, he shall drink not but brine, for I will not show him where the quick freshes are. <laughs> Tranquilo, run into no further danger. Interrupt the monster one word further. And by this hand, I will turn my mercy out of doors and make a stockfish of thee. But uh, I said nothing. I'll go further off. Didst thou not say he lied? Thou liest. Do I so? Take thou that. <laughs> and that. And that. And that. Come on, off the ground. As you like it, give me the lie another time. I did not give the lie. Out of your wits of beer and two, a pox of your bottle, this can second drinking do. Before with your tail, I prithee stand farther off. Why, as I told thee, tis a custom to her. In the afternoon to sleep, there thou mayst brain her, having first seized her books, or, 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 or with a log, batter her skull, or, or, or punch her with a stake. Remember, first to possess her books, for without them she is but as sought as I am, nor hath one spirit to possess. They all do hate her as rudely as I do. Oh, 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 
oh, oh, burnt but her books. <laughs> and that most deeply to consider is the beauty of her daughter. Her herself calls her a nonpareil. <laughs> is it so brave, alas? Aye, my lord, she'll bring, bring thee forth the brave brood. <laughs> Monster. I will kill this woman. Her daughter and I will become king and queen. Save our graces. And Drinkulo and thyself shall become viceroys. Dost thou like the plot, Drinkulo? Excellent. Drinkulo. 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 Give me thy hand. Drinkulo, give me thy hand. I am sorry I be thee, but while thou livest, keep a good tongue in thy head. Uh, within this half hour will she be asleep. Uh, wilt thou destroy her then? I on my honor. <laughs> this we will tell our mistress. Thou makest me merry. I am full of pleasure. Oh, oh, let us be jocund. Oh, oh, will you troll the cat you taught me but while air? Oh, I will do reason. Any reason. Come, Drinkulo, let's sing. If thou beest a man, show thyself in thy likeness. If thou beest a devil, take us thou man. Oh, forgive me, my sins. He who dies pays all debts. I defy thee, mercy upon us. Art thou a fear? No monster, not I. Be not a fear. The isle is full of noises. Sounds and sweet airs that give delight and hurt not. Sometimes a thousand twangling instruments will hum about mine ears, and sometimes uh, voices that, if they had waked me after long sleep, will make me sleep again. Uh, and in dreaming, the clouds methought would open and show riches ready to drop upon me that uh, when I wait, I cried to dream again. This will prove a brave kingdom to me, monster. For I will have my music play for nothing. One Prospera is destroyed. <laughs> that will be by and by. The sound is going away. Come and follow and after do our work. Go ahead, monster. Lead the way. Thus we stray to find, and the sea mocks our frustrated search on land. Well, let him go. I am right glad she's so out of hope. The next advantage will we take, truly. Let it be tonight. I say tonight, no more. <laughs> what harmony is this? My good friends, hark. Marvelous, sweet music. Of our own human generation. 
Honest Lord, thou hast said well, for some of you there present are worse than devils. They vanish strangely. No matter, for we have stomachs. Would it please you to taste what is here? Not I. Oh, faith, madam, you need not fear. I will stand to it and feed. All others stand. Do as we. You are three persons of sin, whom destiny that hath to instrument this lower world and what is in it. The never surfeited sea hath caused to belch up you. And on this island where man doth not inhabit, you amongst humanity being most unfit to live. I have made you mad, and, and even, even with, with such, such like valor, valor they shall hang and drown, drown their, their proper selves. <laughs> you fools! I and my, my fellows are ministers of fate. The elements by whom your swords are tempered may as well wound the loud wind. Oh, with me mock at stabs till the still closing waters has diminished one dowel that's in my plume. But remember, for that's my business to you. For you, For you three from Milan did supplant good. Prospera. 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 Bravely, the figure of this harpy hast thou performed my aerial grace it had devouring. So with good life and observation strange, my high charms work, and these mine enemies are all knit up in their distractions. They are now in my power. I leave them in their fits while I visit young Ferdinand and his and mine love darling. In the name of something holy, madam, why stand you in this strange stare? Oh, it is monstrous, monstrous. Methought the billows spoke and told me of it. The winds did sing it to me, and the thunder that deep and dreadful organ pipe pronounced the name of Prosper. But one feet at a time, I'll fight their legions o'er. I'll be thy second. All three of them are desperate. Their great guilt like poison given to work a great time after now begins to bite the spirits. I do beseech you who are of suppler joints, follow them swiftly and hinder them from what this newfound ecstasy may now provoke them to. Follow, I pray you. Aye, sir, we follow. For thou shalt find that she will upstrip all praise and make it halt behind her. I do believe it against an oracle. Then, as my gift and thine own acquisition worthily purchased, take my daughter. Sit there and talk with her. She is thine own. Thank you, dear mother. What, Ariel? My industrious servant, Ariel! What would my potent what mistress? Here I am. Thy meaner and thy fellows your last service, and I must use you in such another trick. Go bring the rabble over whom I give thee power to this place. Presently? Aye, with a twink. Before you could come and go and breathe twice. Do, do you, you love me, mistress? Dearly, my delicate Ariel, do not approach until you hear me call. Aye, Aye mistress. mistress. True. Do not give dalliance too much the rain. The strongest oaths are straw to the fire and blood. Be more abstemious, or else good night your vow. I warrant you, madam. Well, now come, my Ariel. Bring forth a corollary rather than want a spirit. Appear and pertly. No tongue. All eyes. Be silent. Honor. 
rich is marriage blessing, long, continuous, and increasing. Hourly joys be still upon you. Juno sings her blessings upon you. Earths increase, boys in plenty. Farms and garners never empty. Scarcity and want shall shun you. Sari's blessing is now on you. This is a most majestic vision and harmoniously charming me. Might I be bold to think these spirits? Spirits which by mine art I have called from their confines to enact my present fancies. Oh, let me live here ever. So rare a wandered mother and a wife makes this place paradise. As Juno does command, come temperate nymphs and help celebrate as a half of true love. Be not too late. against my life. Ariel, the minute of their blood approaches. Your mother's in some passion that works her strongly. You do look, my son, in a moved sort as if you were dismayed. Be cheerful, sir. Our revels are now ended. These are actors, as I foretold you, were spirits and have melted into air, to thin air. Like the basic fabric of this vision, the cloud-capped towers, the gorgeous palaces, the great globe itself, ye which all inherit, shall dissolve. Like this insubstantial pageant faded, if not a rack behind. Here's such stuff as dreams are made on our life rounded the sleep mother sir i am vexed please bear with my weakness my brain is troubled if you be pleased retire into my cell and there repose eternal to a walk to still my beating mind we wish your peace Miranda, come with me. Thank you, Ariel. Come. What's thy pleasure? pleasure? Spirit, say again, where didst thou leave these varlets? I told you, madam, they were red hot with drinking, so fun of valor that they smoked the air for breathing in their faces. Beat the ground for kissing of their feet, yet always bending towards their project. Then I charmed their ears that calf like they, my lowing followed through. Tooth briars, sharp furzes, pricking goss and thorns, which entered their frail shins. At last I left them in the filthy mantled pool beyond your cell, there dancing up to the chins that the foul lake overstruck their feet. This was well done, my bird. Thy shape invisible retain thou still. The trumpery in my house, go bring it hither, for sale to catch these thieves. Here they, they approach. approach. I pray you, tread softly that the blind moment I hear a footfall. They are now near her cell. And stir your fairy, which you say is a harmless berry, has done little better than played the jack with us. So is mine. Be patient, for the prize I bring thee to shall hoodwink this mischance. Therefore, speak softly. All's hushed as midnight yet. I've 
but to lose our bottles in the pool? There is not only disgrace and dishonor in that monster, but an infinite lie. I pray thee, my king, be quiet. Give me thy hand. I begin to have many thoughts. Oh, king, oh, 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 the bottle all there! Oh, where is the bottle? Oh, look, what a wardrobe here's for thee. Let it alone, thou fool. It is all but trash. Oh, no, monster, we know what belongs to a brickery. Drink, you know, take off that gown. By this hand, I'll have that gown. That grace shall have it. What do you mean to dote thus in such luggage? Let's alone and do the murder first. If she awake from toe to crown, she'll fill our skins with pinches, make a strange stuff. I thank thee for that jest. Here's a garment for it. I will have none odd. We shall lose our time and all be turned to barnacles. Monster, help to bear this for my hogs that have won is your turn out of my kingdom. Go to, carry this. Oh, I this. I am this, and this, and this. What is this? Your ring, your ring. There, tyrant, there. Hark, hark. Go charge my goblins that they grind their joints with dry convulsions, shorten up their sinews, and more pinch spotted make them than hard or catapulted. Hark! They roar! <laughs> at this hour, lie at my mercy all my enemies. Now does my project gather to a head. My high charms crack not. My spirits obey. And time goes upright with his carriage. How's the day? On the sixth hour, at which time, my lady, you said our work should cease. I did say so when I last raised the tempest. Say, spirit, how fares the queen and its followers? Confined together in the same fashion as you gave in charge, just as you left them. Your charm so strongly works them that if you now beheld them, your affections would become tender. Dost thou think so, spirit? Mine would, madam, were I human. And mine shall. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break, their senses I'll restore, and they shall be themselves. I'll, I'll fetch, fetch them, them, madam. This rough magic I hear of door, and when I have required some heavenly music, which even now I do, to work mine end upon their senses that this airy charm is for, I'll break my staff, bury it in certain fathoms of the earth, and deeper than ever did plummet sound, I'll drown my book. Solemn air and the best comforter to an unsettled fancy cure thy brains. For there you stand spell stopped. O oh, good Gonzalo, my true preserver and a noble sir, to her you follow. I will pay thy graces both home and word and deed. Most cruelly didst thou, Alonzo, use me and my daughter. And thy sister was a further in the act. Thou art pinched for it now, Sebastian. Flesh and blood. You sister mine that entertained ambition, I do forgive thee, unnatural though thou art. Quickly, spirit, tis time to present myself. Thou shalt ere long be free. Merrily, merrily shall I live now under the blossom that hangs on the bough. That's my dainty spirit. I shall miss thee, but thou shalt have freedom. Now, to the queen's ship, bring all those that sleep, the mariners, the bosun, 
Bring them forth. I drink the air before me and return on air your pulse twice beat. Oh, torment, trouble, wonder, and amazement inhabits here. Some heavenly power guide us out of this fearful country. Behold, dear queen, the wronged ruler of Milan, Prospera. I embrace thy body, and to thee and thy company I bid a hearty welcome. Whether thou be a sheer no, or some enchanted trifle to abuse me, as late I have been, I not know. Oh, thy pulse beats as flesh and blood. Thy duke to my do resign, and do entreat thou pardon me my wrongs. But how should Prospera be living? And be here. First, my noble friend, let me embrace thine aid, whose honor cannot be measured or confined. Whether this be or be not, I'll not say. Oh, you do yet taste some subtleties of the isle that do not let you believe things certain. Welcome, my friends, all, and to you, most wicked one. Whom to call sister would even infect my mouth. I do forgive thy rankest faults, all of them, and do require my dukedom of thee, which perforce I know thou must restore. If thou beest Prospera, give us particulars of thy preservation. How thou hast met us here, whom three hours since we were wrecked upon the shore, where I've lost my, my, how sharp the point of this remembrance is, my dear son, Ferdinand. I am Wolford, madam. Irreparable is the loss. I have lost my daughter. A daughter? Oh, heavens, that they were both living in Naples there. The king and queen that they were. I wish myself were mudded in that oozy bed where my son lies. When did you lose your daughter? In this last tempest. I perceive these honest lords at this encounter do so much admire. But know for certain that I am Prospera who most strangely was landed upon this isle. No more yet of this, but welcome, madam. I pray you look in. Since my dukedom you have given me again, I will requite you with such as good a thing. At least bring forth the wonder that shall content ye as much as me, my dukedom. <laughs> Get this proof of vision of the isle. One dear son shall I twice lose. A most high miracle. Although the seas threatened, they are merciful. Oh, I have cursed them without cause. Now all the blessings of a glad mother compass thee about. Arise, say how thou camest here. Oh, wonder, how many goodly creatures are there here? How beauteous humankind is. Oh, brave new world that has such people in it. Tis new to thee. What is this? A maid with whom thou wast at play. Ma'am, she is mortal. But by immortal providence, she's mine. I chose her when I could not ask my mother for her advice, nor thought I had one. She is daughter to this great ruler of Milan, of whom I have received a second life and second mother. This lady makes her to me. I am hers, but oh, how oddly it will sound that I must ask my child for forgiveness. There, madam, stop. Let us not burden our remembrance with the sadness that's gone. <laughs> Look down, you gods, and on this couple drop a blessed crown. I say amen, Gonzalo. Give me your hands. Let grief and sorrow Still embrace this heart that doth not wish you joy. Oh, be it so! Amen! <laughs> oh, look, madam! Look, madam! Here is more of us! Oh, well, what is the news? The best news is that we've safely found our queen and company. The next, our ship, which but three glasses since we gave out split, tight and yard and bravely rigs when we first put out to sea. Was well, well done? Bravely, my diligence. And Caliban and his companions, they come forth now. Release them, Ariel. Untie the spell. Oh. Oh. I shall be 
sentenced to death. Is this not Stefano, my butler? He's a drunk now. Where have you been? And Dracula is really right. How camest thou into this? No, no, I have been in such a pickle since I saw you last that I fear me will never out of my bones. I will not fear fly blowing. Fly how? No, Stefano! Oh, touch me not. I'm not Stefano, but a cramp. You'd be king of the isle, Sarah. I should have been a sore one then. This is the strangest thing as I ever looked on. Go to Sarah and take with you your companions as you look to have my pardon, and trim it handsomely. Aye, that I will, and I'll be wise hereafter and seek for grace. Oh, what a fool was I to take this drunkard for a god and worship this dull fool. Go to, away. I invite your highness and your royal train into my poor cell. I long to hear the story of your life which must take the ear strangely. I'll deliver all, and I promise calm seas, auspicious gales, and sails so expeditious that they shall send your fleet far off. Oh, thank you, noble friend. My aerial chick, That is thy charge. Bend to the elements. Be free. And fare thou well. Now my charms are all overthrown. What strength I have is my own, which is most faint. Now, tis true, I must be here confined by you or sent to Naples. Let me not, since I have my dukedom got and pardon the deceiver, dwell on this bare island by your spell, but release me from my bands with the help of your good hands. Let your indulgence set me free. <laughs> <laughs> 